Yo, what is up guys, Sam Pack here, back with another video, and today we're gonna be taking a look at the Cream Plus switches by Novel Keys. So Novel Keys just released their new cream switches called the Cream Plus, and these aren't just like any other switches. The Cream Plus has a hollowed out stem that has swappable inserts that you can pick up to three different materials, silicon, titanium, and copper, and all of them give a different unique sound profile. And in my opinion, this is going to be a game changer for switches in the hobby. But with that said, let's get started. So let's take a look at the switches design. These are a new black color which we haven't seen before in the Cream line. These are linear switches that have a travel distance of two millimeters and bottoming out at four millimeters and the actuation force is at 50 grams and bottoming out at 63.5 grams so i'm not entirely sure what kind of material the housing is made out of since they haven't released that information but i'm going to assume that it's going to be palm and it has a nice matte finish all around the switch and these switches come pre-lubed only on the bottom housing and there isn't any noticeable lube on the bottom spring so they use a pretty light lube but you can still notice it on the bottom housing. So when you open up the switch, you can check the bottom of the stem when you can see the hole, and this is where you put the swappable inserts in. Installation is pretty straightforward and I haven't had any issues of inserts falling out after being installed. So the inserts that you can choose from are silicon for quieter and softer bottom out, titanium for a poppy, deeper tone bottom out, and copper for a poppy and higher tone bottom out. And here's a sound test comparison between all the inserts stock and lubed. So my favorite insert has got to be the copper because it has a sound profile that I personally like and also doesn't feel as flat when bottoming out compared to the titanium. I went ahead and looped the rest of my Cream Plus switches and used the copper's insert on all of them. So here's a full sound test of how that sounds like. So my favorite sound has got to be the spacebar. It just hits so nicely. The bottom out on these switches are actually not super harsh. I was expecting it to be since you have metal contact hitting the bottom of the switch, but honestly, I would say Zaku switches are harsher in terms of feel. So people have been commenting saying, oh, this is gonna be another thing to do, you know, while you gotta lube your switches and kind of dreading the installation process. But honestly, I felt the same way since this would add a lot more time to the lubing process. But after lubing about 90 switches and putting in the inserts in, it took maybe honestly like 10, 10, 15 minutes extra than I normally would. So it's not actually that bad. And once you get the hang of it, putting the inserts in, it just gets faster and faster each time. So for me, I think it's well worth the time. So when you're looping these switches, you can make mistakes pretty easy if you don't have order of operations. I forgot to put inserts in a couple of mine and I had to go back and put them in. So it just 
make sure you double check and make sure the inserts are there. My suggestion is to just double check when you put the switch back together by pressing the switch a couple of times before storing them away. You're gonna regret it when you solder the switches in and put the keycaps on and find out that you didn't put the inserts in. So what are my overall thoughts on these switches? I'm actually really impressed with these switches. I love the sound profile that it gives and more of the customization behind it. I think this brings a fresh new idea to the table and also gives hobbyists more ways to tinker and dial in that sound profile they really want in their boards. I really like how novel keys are taking new innovative steps because at least for me, the keyboard scene has gotten pretty stale in terms of seeing the same old switch, you know, recolored and it feels like there's nothing new anymore. And I can't wait to see other switch material housings with these inserts and see how it'll give a different sound and feel, especially in tactile switches and seeing other inserts materials in the future. So if you guys wanna pick these up, you're gonna have to purchase the switches and inserts separately. The switches are about $23.40 for 36 switches. So that's about 65 cents per switch. And the inserts range from $8 to $12 for a pack of 120. So overall, this should probably roughly cost around 71 to 75 cents per switch. And my affiliate links will be down in the description down below. So what do you guys think of these new switches? Do you guys think this will be a game changer for the hobby in the future? Let me know in the comments down below. And that's it for this one. Hope you guys enjoy this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out guys.